Okay, this is the hallway bathroom, and our um, lavatories, they're, they're installed flush inside the countertops for all the, both of the bathrooms. And we do not have perlators, overflow drains right there, uh, nor are they required. They're not required. And then underneath here, it's uh, boring, okay. which is good. Boring is good when you're inspecting. Fans all the way down there on the end. Lights are on. Coming on along. Everything goes down. It's supposed to go down. Bye, Timmy. There you go. Bathtub. Hot's on the left. Cold's on the right. It's draining pretty good. These are our windows. This is, um, okay, these windows are design windows. Okay. Ornamental windows. And therefore. It's legal for this window. It's good to have a window in a bathroom. I love windows in bathrooms. But it's okay for this window to be this close to the bathtub because it's a design window. It's not a conventional window. Okay. That's what the hall bathroom looks like. Coming on along. It's kind of working our way through here to the kitchen. The kitchen range works. The cooktop, flat cooktop. Uh, I don't inspect it for convection and um, behind this oven and I've got a, a, a picture of this but behind the oven is an anti-tip device that has not been installed so the anti-tip device needs to be installed then we come in across here we got our microwave this microwave oven is closer than 24 inches to the cooktop okay now you listed Whirlpool, they might decide that this corner needs to be 30 inches from this or what. I don't have the instructions with me. So it's very likely that this arrangement is okay with the UL listed manufactured installation instructions. Those supersede code. But without that, then I'm left to tell you that this cooktop is just a little tight in here. And um, it's circulating. Circulating? What do you mean, bud? Well, I mean, like, there's the fan. Speed two. Okay. Speed one. Off. Okay, two speed fan. Two speed light. And then cook time. I'm going to just put about 15 seconds in here. Hit start. Because I got a little microfiber cloth in there. We're going to heat it up, but like I said, this is circulating. Dinner's ready. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, that's how we know. That's how we know. <clears throat> now on our sink, our kitchen sinks, we have what's known as a foul line, F-O-U-L, Hillbilly Home Inspection. It's a foul line. That's where all the germs and the bacteria are going the cooties and the viruses hide. So that's where all that is. And your realtor will say, you just put a little bleach in there. Just put a little bleach in there. That's what they always say. But it's a foul line. And there, there's a code for that. Now, what supersedes code? The manufacturer's installation instructions. So if this, you have the sinks manufactured installation instructions and they say that you can have a foul line, well then, you know, far be it from me. Far be it from me. And then coming on down here in the kitchen. And you push away for hot and close to cold. And we got a little one third horsepower food waste disposal. And uh, we got a drip loop for our, uh, excuse me, a high loop for our dishwasher. That's a good thing. The dishwasher ran through its cycle and everything. But see these right here? Those are sticks. Remember manufacturer's installation instructions? I bet you this manufacturer, I bet that sink came with a box full of clips. They're supposed to have clips on here. Just put a couple screws in there, Philip. We're going to the beer store. Oh, Doug, you're the fastest guy in the shop. I know. I'm getting a raise next week. That's the way we do it. That's the way we do it. Those are drywall screws. That's what's holding your whole sink up. Don't don't bathe your baby in there. The dishwasher. Now this dishwasher is a little tricky, in a good way. In a good way, because that switch has to be on for the dishwasher to work. 
And that means you can turn that switch off and open up the door, which has a switch in it, and work on it like you're supposed to. A lot of them in this area, a lot of them don't do that. So, just kind of heads up on that. Since I'm here, I'm going to raise this window. Because I raised all the other windows, and looked in all the other doors, and opened all the other doors, and did all those other things. I did those things. And when, one of the, when I was doing things, one of the things I was doing is I was checking the water in here in this in the shower. The um, seal is fine. The seal is fine. Um, but hot and cold are reversed. So starts off hot, and then goes to cold. And it's supposed to start off with cold and go to hot. It's reversed. And I get it. You could probably put it about halfway and uh, figure it out as you go. But, um, but know that your natural inclination is going to be to return it to the stop for cold water and turn it away from the stop for hot water. So you could get disoriented maybe and burn yourself or something. Ow! Here's the uh, bathtub, hot's on the left, cold's on the right, rain water ran through the, the drain there, and this commode's like the other commode, everything goes down, it's supposed to go down. We got a lot of air in the lines, this house has been vacant for a little bit, so the sinks are kind of acting up. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right. Now this GFCI right here, did I reset it already? This is the master, if you will, principal GFCI. Um, it, it controls that receptacle over there and the one in the hall bathroom, it, it controls that as well. So as we get along here, this is the uh, only two bathrooms and I've been underneath the kitchen sink and what we're running out of time, what we're running out of um, uh, lack of discovery, if you will, is I'm just not seeing a dilution valve for the hot water system. Those are real popular with modern architecture. This house isn't, isn't that old. Boring. That black hose right there is the drain for your air conditioning system. That's your primary evaporator drain pipe. One that you're going to find out that you've already found out that it's got a shallow P-trap. I'm just trying to figure out where are these videos. I film them organically in the order of the ins as the inspection progresses. But then. Uh, I post them inside your report, the links inside your report, in the order of the report. So I'm trying to foresee the future here. Hot and cold's fine. Looking good. Everything's hunky dory. 